a very odd turn of events here on the world stage. And if you're paying attention to what's happening here with Israel, especially with China, big moves going down, and this is just the way they seem to be liking it. Now, I don't buy the excuse, especially in this article, that Israel is trying to say, per their defense forces, that they rushed into all this and they never stopped for one second to think about the strategic, the strategic or security aspect of this whole thing involving China. That's garbage. The Mossad specializes in that worldwide. So what they've done is they've struck up a train deal and all kinds of other deals technologically with China, and now they just gave China the keys to the Haifa port for 25 years. They're going to be in control of maintaining it, and it's all under the guise of using it as a shipping port. And now there's major concern being raised that security-wise, they're like, the United States is kind of like, what are you thinking? They cannot believe that they just did that. They're like, our sixth fleet can no longer dock there. Our sixth fleet can no longer look at this as possibly being a friendly hub or docking facility in a wartime situation. The same Netanyahu buddy buddy with Jesuit Trump, you know, that they put a coin out comparing him to King Solomon. And all this talk of peace and moving all these buildings from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and doing all this stuff. And now all of a sudden, oh, well, China's moving in. That's right. And that's exactly what's happening. Red flags flying everywhere. But really, it shows, for those that have the eyes to see, that it's going right along the same thing that, we, that we've been warning about. You, you know your history. You know who went in and funded China throughout Mao and everything. Same thing with the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. The same Rothschild hands and money backing the whole thing that comes down to their Zionist control and beliefs that they're pushing and their buddies here on this world stage connected with Israel. It's supposed to be the United States. Then they've got Saudi Arabia. All the weapons that are being sold. Even talk of selling this Iron Dome to the fakes down south and then they wanted to deny it and say oh no that that's not happening but the reality is this big moves are being made here on this world stage and people are getting led by the nose by the mainstream media outlets they tune into every day just filling them full of propaganda then all these shells out here and I got a feeling some of these people know what they're dealing with out here no more excuses some of these people are out here looking for entertainment, not the truth, not news, because when they come across the truth or it's something that they don't like or they don't agree with, they turn a cheek to it. And then they ignore the hardcore stuff that's really going down like this here on this world stage. So, will be no sixth fleet rolling up in there if China has the keys for the next 25 years. So think about that strategically. Because I'm going to be referencing this move quite a bit from here on out. Because it, it shows, regardless of what they want to say about security and all that crap, get out of here with that. No way you allow China to move in within yards of your alleged nuclear sub base, your main port in Israel. No way. Without this being locked down cold. Part of the plan. And of course, in the end... They're going to want to unleash the nihilist and the atheist into the dragon that cares not about any Christians across the globe or any religion. Use the United States. Wear them thin. Use their military to stomp out Iraq, stomp out Libya, stomp out all these other places. Working them in Syria. Spread them thin all across the globe. Now that they've used them up and people are awakening, there's only one other route for them to go, and I've warned about it over and over again. And it's shifting this thing to China, and it's moved like this that solidify that they're doing this, that shows that this isn't just a theory. This is real deal happening out here. A shift here on the world stage. People can turn a cheek to it all they want. It's not going to go away. Some of you are going to find out the hard way. Turning your cheek to all these hardcore things is going to get you in a corner and get you stuck between a, hard, a, a rock and a hard spot that you're not going to be able to work your way out of. There's not going to be no patriots or people there to save you because you wanted to get led by the nose by the mainstream media that some white knights up in the government were going to save the day all of a sudden. One day. When's that going to be? Still, I'm still waiting for Hillary to go to prison. 
Keep sleeping, people. Keep sleeping while your country gets swept out from underneath of you by design. Because you fall in love with the shells out here on this world stage. I'm warning you. Moves are being made. They do not believe in you. They don't believe in the same Messiah that you believe in. He sure doesn't, and neither does the Chinese. Things you better think about.